by the brain, by the brain. Then we uh, shall find a in group one, and we shall call it brain job. No, the nerves of which are the distinguished to the brain job apparatus. In every of uh, the brain job, us, it exists on uh, the certain portion of method there. Maybe I understood method there yeah. going towards the middle in learning clear. The tissue which is uh, similar to this middle in learning clear, mesodermal tissue, it appears also in every of these arts. As a result, every of these arts is able, in further development, is able to give uh, rise to uh, to properties. And because they are the mesoderma, it will be able to transform into this tissue. Mm. Scleron, to derma, to myo, in every of them, there will be structures which transform later into muscles. Mm. And that's why we distinguish muscles are which uh, in their development arise uh, from the first branchial arch. Muscles uh, which derive from the second branchial arch. Muscles, uh, you understood, oh. from the third arch, from the fourth arch. An area of the arch possesses its own nerve. Yeah. And that means uh, that in further development, these muscles, yeah, it's on which which develop from the material of the first arch, they will be innovated by these nerves, by the nerve of these arch. <laughs> and that's why from the very beginning uh, we enumerate these uh, brachial nerves. Mm -hmm. Maybe you remember uh, <clears throat> as a result of uh, previously made uh, classes in colleges and so on, and uh, how many they are the cranial nerves. Cranial. Thirty-one spinal nerves. Spinal nerves, and they will be, no, let's say so, they will be branched of the spinal cord, and they are destined to innovate, to supply trunks, trunks, sorry, and limbs, because limbs may be understood uh, this phenomenon also. Limbs, uh, these are of growth of the trunk, of the trunk. And that's why spinal cord, via these uh, 31 spinal nerves, uh, it will innovate your uh, trunk and limbs. But third, and an uh, important part of the neck, they will be innovated by the brain. And to uh, the connections of the brain with uh, the third and uh, part of the neck. It's necessary to possess no. nerves. Mm. And that's why we should distinguish another group of nerves. Cranial. Spinal nerves, branch of the spinal cord, for the trunk and limbs, for the third and neck, cranial, cranial nerves. And they are? Twelve. Twelve, Twelve cranial nerves. And four among them, they are brain job no. for the first arch, second arch, third arch, and uh, the last of these nerves, uh, it will be rather great from the point of view of the extent of the area, which will be controlled by these nerves. So it will control the derivatives of the fourth arch and of the fifth arch, of the two arches. The, the, the famous uh, Bacchus nerve. Vagus. 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 And these nerves, they are the fifth cranial nerve. Vagus. Vagus. It is, that is the famous uh, trigeminal. And sometimes uh, we are calling it trigeminal. 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 But uh, it seems to me that it is uh, to be spelled trigeminal. Trigeminal nerve, that is the fifth thought. The amount of these uh, 12 cranial nerves will be the fifth. After that, for the second brain, I should give you the cells, the facial. After that, uh, for the third arch, it will be the ninth cranial nerve. 
Lord is the 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 Brankel, first Brankel. What was the nerve for it? What is the nerve which I mentioned the first? Oh. These muscles, masticatory, four masticatory, uh, masticatory muscles. Four muscles. Every of them, all of them, develops from the first arch. They will be animated by the same trigeminal nerve. No. After that, there will be facial muscles, mm -hmm. and and they develop from the second branchial arch. Second arch give, gives you rise you to all the facial muscles. Oh, Plus okay. certain other muscles which will be mostly in the neck. Two or three muscles. I don't want to enumerate them to count them. The main group of muscles developing from the second arch, facial muscles. Sometimes you, you call them correctly the muscles of facial expression. Mm -hmm. And because, so because they you know, derive from the second branchial arch, mm -hmm. they will be animated by the facial nerve. Other branchial arches, so they um, give rise to other muscles which will be studied with uh, digestive organs because oh. uh, they will be in the walls uh, of the oral cavity, mm. they will be in uh, the pharynx. Oh. So they are not skeletal muscles, mm. so acting in joints which you study. So, but these correlations, so mm. source embryonic source in development and uh, as a result the nervous structure which would innovate uh, this muscular group what well, these relation this association we need it and every time when we work with certain group of muscles we are asking the same question where from do they develop and uh, at the base of uh, this knowledge we will find another answer. What is the nerve which will innovate them? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. These are correlation that is uh, important for us. And as for our culture, I am uh, interested uh, in it. Uh, can you demonstrate the movements in the main joints of the human body? Correctly demonstrate the movements. Flexor. Let's try maybe with you. Huh? Let's try. Oh. <laughs> That's right. so. oh, first of all, well, <clears throat> well, I take uh, a little of time. How to say correctly? A few, a few times. A few times. Hmm? A few minutes. I think a few minutes. A few minutes. A few minutes. Okay. Uh, from uh, your studies of myology. So the first uh, junction, uh, the first joints, which interests us, uh, certainly the cranial vertebral joints. Cranial vertebral, uh, maybe you know them, it's uh, occipital. Atlanta occipital joint, and that's right, the axial joint. How to demonstrate correctly the movement? This one, this one. But first of all, so the first uh, story, the first Oh, the first step may be said. That's it. Atlantic occipital joint. What are the moments in it? Atlantic occipital. Atlantic occipital is this. Correct. And how to call these movements? This one. E. Uh. E. Uh. Ah. <laughs> flexion, extension. That's oh. all. Oh, flexion, extension. Is it all? No, are the movements? Occipital. Uh, left, right, left, right. This is the uh, other uh, axial. I know. Uh, this joint, it went on, occipital, it's not able to uh, realize these movements. I don't know. The structures which participate in it, they uh, would be broken. Oh, 
Yeah. And these attempt to realize the uh, movement, the movements of the uh, letter entity, induction, abduction, you call it now, abduction. in this joint. The ligaments, uh, they would be broken, the fractures of certain bones, uh, but at the same time, another question, this Atlanta occipital joint, is it uniaxial or biaxial or multiaxial? Maybe multi no any other movement can be made uh, in uh, this joint. Only flexion extension, maybe. Uh -huh. huh? Diax. No. This one no. Yeah. Then no. Then and another question which uh, is able to to help us. And tell me please, what was the shape, the shape of this joint? Shape. Uh. <laughs> but we use we use the notion we use the notion of spheroidal giant, hinged giant, oh. plain giant, and uh, these uh, enumerations may be continued. And if it is a spheroidal joint, it must be multi -axial. If it is a condylar joint, it must be, it may be only bi -axial. If it is hinge joint, ah. it uh, will be uh, uni -axial. If it is a pivot joint, it will be uni -axial. So, it, it can, it can uh, help us. If I remind you, what was the shape of, of these articular surfaces? And it is a condylar joint. Condylar joint. Even bicondylar joint. And bicondylar joints, they uh, belong to the group of, of biaxial. And that means you know, that together the, with the flexion extension, this joint, it is able to participate in other <coughs> movement, provide other movement. And we have lost it, the easier second movement. So what was it? So flexion extension, the first. Oh, and that is up there. This Flight may be Slide. being compared with the amount of movements, which is flexion extension. The, these abduction, abduction of the herd. That's also, I know, if, uh, uh, if you increase uh, these movements, you put in action the cervical part of the vertebral column also. Vertebral column, it also, it, fun, it works, uh, it acts, if you want, in this great uh, abduction, abduction. It is uh, slightly restricted, the uh, movement of laterality in the Atlanta occipital joint. Atlanta occipital. So uh, I can't, I must exclude uh, the neck if I want to demonstrate the movements in Atlanta axial joint. Atlanta axial. Oh, this is Atlanta axial. Well, after that, uh, after that it will be a lower story in uh, these uh, connections, lower stories. Atlanta axial joint. Yeah. And what are the movements in it? Yes. Ah, that is correct. Nothing else? Maybe uh, something else may be made up. I do not know. Me, I studied archaeology 50 years ago. Uh, huh. I have forgotten everything. So, and, uh, the same problem. Is it this joint? Uh, is it uniaxial, biaxial, multiaxial? Monoaxial. Uniaxial. Uni? Uniaxial. And that means that the only type of movements may be shown. Only. And it will be this rotation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all, nothing else. Well, uh, after that, uh, we are going down sternoclavicular joint. How they may be demonstrated the movements in it? And this one. Maybe like that. <coughs> but we need uh, uh, to represent correctly these movements without the participation of any other joint. Any other joint. Only I am putting in action these sternoclavicular joints. Sternoclavicular joint. That is the first joint. I think it's this. I think it's this one. No, sternoclavicular is this this side here. Sternoclavicular. Sternum. 
clavicular. That means this this part joint, this joint of this part. Joint this oh, well, you are showing its location correctly. That's its location. But what the, would be the movement? I think it's this one. <laughs> For me, I would like to hope that uh, we, both of us, you and me, we understood it. So we started these joints, we started the different movements to be able to put in action correctly. To put in action joint, but to put correction, uh, to put in action the joint, it means uh, to make the corresponding muscles to contract. And after that, these muscles, they don't act autonomically. They are controlled by the nerves. Mm -hmm. And the nerves, they are, they are connections of certain nervous sensors. So that means that when I ask you, trying to put in action these or other joint. Other joint. If uh, this joint, if this action may be made, that means that the chain of these events, it functions. Yeah. Okay. Joint is not troubled. No, Muscle or muscular group, no. it functions. functions. No, no. no. Functions. remains to be Function. intact. Nervous sensor, it functions. Function. Uh, that's uh, diagnostic key. Yes. And so I want to put in action this technical article of joint. I think. And, uh, and later, uh, it will be the next practical class. You will study the, um, or maybe some later, you will study the muscles uh, which act uh, in uh, these uh, joints. And some later, we shall study the nerves. Uh, well, so how to put in action correctly? Or that is the first. Ah, the first of the movements. Oh, that is the first mm. movement. But it will be other movements. Oh, remember, yeah. what was the shape of this joint? Sternoclavicular. And uh, the second question was it uniaxial, multiaxial, biaxial? Sternoclavicular. Mm. Uni axial, sangsiaba, up and down. Uni. Up and down, uni. Uh -huh. Up and down. Uni. Yes. Yeah, understood, understood. Up and down. Up and down, uh -huh. unisma. And uh, this one, is it up or down? Up <laughs> or down? <laughs> <laughs> by, by, Gravik. Uh, ah. By. So up and down, by axial. back there. By axial. By axial. And uh, moreover, uh, this demonstration, uh, I um, uh, represented it at the lecture. Uh, this uh, joint, the uh, mobility of this joint uh, is, it is uh, much greater because uh, it possesses particular accessory component. Only two joints in the human body contain uh, these particular structures which is uh, put in uh, the composition of these uh, joints. Intra-articular disc, oh. disc, <coughs> disc. Oh, backbone, what the bro? You mean? I uh, know. In the middle. In the, among the, between the vertebrae, that's uh, just another one. It is also the structure which is called disc. disc. But disc in the side of uh, these technical ecology. Yeah. And disc between uh, the vertebrae, the they are quite different structures, absolutely different. Disc yeah. between the vertebrae. Uh, that's cartilaginous joint. That's a large in his joint with, without any cavity, without uh, caps, um, uh, articular capsule, without uh, articular surfaces, without side. How do we call the fluid? Synovia. 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 Without the synovial fluid. Yeah. Mm. And that is a disc, which is a component of the synovial joint, of the diatosis. Disc, complete disc. And I told you, yes, it was uh, two weeks ago, uh, I told you that this disc, it uh, isolated two compartments of the cavity. So it exists, that's not the unique cavity. It is the cavity which is subdivised by the disc onto two stories. On the two cavities, maybe say cavity between the disc and clavicle and other part of the cavity between the disc and sternum. Uh -huh. 
and the existence of this, this, it increases the amount of movement, the mobility of the oh. giants. And, and that's why it is, by, at least it is by action. And in our textbooks, you may take different textbooks. Hmm. Our national textbooks, so, uh, French textbooks, uh, American textbooks, and very often they you will find different definitions of, of this giant. The certain order, uh, because uh, it, uh, it's uh, very variable, mm -hmm. individual. Oh. And that's why uh, the certain uh, anatomists it, uh, call it, uh, it to be uh, even some era to the steroid. Others, uh, they define it uh, to be cellar, cellar joint. joint. Cellar joint. But being uh, possessed with uh, these discs, it is uh, rather rich in its movements, mm -hmm. and that's why at least uh, I can demonstrate. So the one after that, what else? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the one, and finally, even uh, oh, that is combination. When I combine these uh, movements plus these movements, so I am doing them uh, simultaneously. So this joint, it allows uh, to do it. And by the way, how do we call uh, the uh, combination of different movements? Because uh, almost uh, uh, movement of the same nature may be realized in shoulder joint. Oh, shoulder joint, movement. Ah. We analyze the movements. Basing our analysis on uh, the axis which we studied, the movements which are realized along these X or these S or these X. And the axis they are, which are the axis which we described? Frontal X. Well, frontal X. Uh, would, you like, uh, would you like to give me back? Okay. Frontal X, how should I orient it? No, no, the X, that is X. Okay. I want to, to put it correctly in me. How to put it? Like that, like that, like that. Like that. Frontal. Frontal. That will be correct. Then give it to me. That is frontal X. What is uh, the movement which is made of according to the uh, this X in this moment it will be broken. <laughs> oh doctor. <laughs> so so uh, movement B. Broken, broken, broken. No. Oh. What does it mean? It's so easy. Even like this. So if only this one, would you like to stay? It would be much easier. To work out. Okay. So that is initial position. Initial position. And now I explained that it is so called anatomical position. In okay, X, the first X. We are analyzing the mobility of the shoulder joint. Frontal X. Ah, body. Shoulder joint. Shape. Ball and lock. Ball and socket. Ball and socket. Ball and socket. Ball and socket joint it must be much, much deeper, I should say. Ball and socket joint, properly speaking, it must be deeper. The true representative of the ball socket joint will be hip joint. Ah. With, uh, with the third of the femur, which is a pool much inside, much deeper into the cavity with uh, the deep acetabulum. This is uh, the typical third object. Quite a rounded third uh, of the humerus. <laughs> if it is third, my well, legs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. So like that, you need to demonstrate. So the movements which are made up. Uh, um, 
in the quadrants with all the three edges. From those edges, what are the movements? On the axis. Correct. Correct. Call it. And draw ocean. How do we call this movement? And draw ocean. And draw ocean. No, uh, mm -hmm. Accentual. Okay. The patient is the result of the charm or damage of the muscle or, or the nerve. Most of the more frequently of the nerve. He can't uh, demonstrate, he yeah. can't uh, demonstrate or uh, realize this movement. Mm -hmm. What would you uh, write down in the history case? That uh, he can't make uh, extension. Oh. It will be a mistake. It's not this movement, it's not the uh, call. Frontal X, but how would you call this movement? Enter ocean. Enter ocean. Enter ocean. Enter ocean. That's flexion, that's how. Flexion. Flexion. The head, the head is dislocated forwards. Flexion. Flex. The opposite sense. Extension. Extension. Oh. Flexion. Extension. Extension. Flexion. So Extension. we made uh, to function the first of the axis. What is uh, the second axis? Sagittal. 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 Oriented. Sagittal. 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 Okay, correct. Sagittal. Movement. Side. Side. Name. Sagittal. Flexion. 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 It was flexion. It was mm -hmm. flexion. Extension. Now we are uh, we will we'll work with the other movement. Extension. Flexion. Extension. 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 Elevation. Tide. Jiang Jiang. Jiang. Quite then. Elevation. 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 Oh, Elevation. 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 That's also elevation. The head also, which is radial. Mm -hmm. So that's why we use uh, much more exact notions. So, flash, flexion, extension. Flexion. Adamption. Abduction. 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 Fine. Flexion. Adduction. Adduction. ADD. When I put it to D, D plus D, that means uh, that my hand did approach the trunk. So near. And even in the name, D, 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 D. Abduction. But D, they did. Two different letters, different, different, and uh, it will be laterally dislocated. Abduction, 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 abduction. Okay. The third, uh, what, is, uh, what is the third? Uh, third X. Sangshi. Sangshi. Ah, Sangshi. Transverse. Transverse. That is uh, the same transverse. That is front. That's uh, another name for the front legs. Transverse. I think. Uh, rotation. Up. Uh, rotation. Mm. It's not rotation. The mm. abduction. Mm. Abduction. We have most the third X. The, like this one. But it was. Uh, you you call this to the front of it, you might be called. This is our front of it. You believe no no you believe that Kulikov has forgotten totally anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because uh, that it's quite enough they maybe use this notion, other notion, this movement, another movement. He wouldn't understand nothing. <laughs> so it was front of X by the Or Oh, no. you tried it to confuse me. <laughs> because it is not front of it. <laughs> so, front of X, mm -hmm. then uh, you call the uh, sagittal X. We have lost the third X. Long, 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 Long,
Yeah. If you have a longitudinal, it will be parallel to the long edge of the body. Yeah. That is vertical edge. The only axis. <coughs> vertical edge. Mm -hmm. Wow, movement. Mm -hmm. wow. If it is a little, in uh, the multi-action joint, what do you want? Oh, you know, we must demonstrate uh, the movements in every of the axis. X. Mm -hmm. oh, you are putting in actions, you have no play. My dear colleagues, the action, if it passes through the joint, to the sun, to the sun. And you are showing me something. In the way, sorry. To the sun. But it was abduction, induction. Induction, induction. I think like this. Stand up, club. My nation, we, have, we have must analyze the movements correctly. Ah. That is diagnostic. No, no, this is adoption. Adoption. Uh, mm -hmm. But this is flexion. Oh, my dear. It seems to me that you are ready to dance. <laughs> <laughs> me, I need you to put in action individual joint, following individual arch. Concrete, detailed, individual arch. Vegetal arch, movement. Uh, I think... Th this one? All these movements, they must be made of having in view as the basal, basal position, anatomical position. And you, you are putting, you are putting the upper limb in abduction, and after that you are trying to demonstrate any, uh, any movements. That's incorrectly made. Mm -hmm. That is your initial position. So... Mm. Hmm? What would you say? What would you say? I think that uh, that is the only the only correct demonstration of this movement. Once more. What have you shown? What have you shown? This one. Oh. The uh, inside, outside, inside, outside. This rotation. That is the movement which we are making in uh, in uh, following the vertical edge. Rotation, external rotation, internal rotation, external, internal, flexion, 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 extension, extension, reduction, reduction, external rotation, external rotation, so, 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 no, no, no. Like this, like this, like this. Extend, external. Ah, you meant. Just not you. General rotation. Ah, like this. General rotation. Abduction. 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 Extension. Okay. But that is spheroidal joint. And uh, most of them, most of the spheroidal joints, they allow, the, as I told, the combination when now uh, the uh, movements of flexion, extension, abduction, and adduction, they are made of simultaneously. And that's why we need our ability to analyze. That was flexion, extension, look at the hand. Flexion and uh, how it dislocates. Flexion, extension, abduction, induction. And now this move. <laughs> how it may be classified, this move? Me, I divide these motion. Divide, divide up onto, if you want, a certain segments of movements. First of all, my hand is dislocated forward, slightly, right to great. After that, but that is flexion. It was flexion. So it is flexion. 
After some time, my head, it commences to dislocate simultaneously, laterally. But what is it? Abduction. But I am combining both reaction and abduction. Flexion together with abduction. Abduction. Flexion and abduction. And now, and now my head is beginning to dislocate slightly backwards. Extension. And what was it? Extension backward. Extension. That is combination of adduction yeah. and extension. Extension, adduction, extension. Extension, 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 extension. Sorry. Adduction. 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 And uh, it begins to move you know, interiorly. Flexion, 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 flexion. Simultaneously. Adduction plus flexion. Spheroidal joint. As uh, almost every uh, multi axial joint, they allow the combination of movements because they are multi axial. That is, if you want a kind of transfer from one movement to other movements, <coughs> and that is <coughs> circumduction. Circumduction. The, it may be said the circular movement. So not so exact uh, translation <coughs> or word. Circumduction. Circumduction in late. Circumduction. So in such a way, they must be analyzed the area of the great judge. It was short joint. What would you say about the elbow joint? The elbow joint. We may it Ничего, ничего. Ничего, ничего. Six? Six o'clock. In the morning? Uh, no, eight. <laughs> morning. Evening start and anatomy. Me, I am telling about your day of oh, places. Oh, 11. Uh, it's 11. 11 up to oh, something about nine hours. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It is supposed yeah. yeah. Break. 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 Then. And how long? How long it was the break? Five, six hours. Five to six hours. <laughs> <laughs> well. Elbow joint. Me, uh, I should find uh, the difficulties of trying to classify it. Elbow joint. Gingrimus. Maybe. My dear colleagues, you know, uh, uh, analysis of the elbow joint. We say uh, elbow joint, it is a compound joint. Compound joint. Compound, compound joint. Compound. And what? More than two bones. And what does it mean? <coughs> more than two bones. More than two, more than two bones. Than two bones. Uh, mm -hmm. involving the and how three. many joints, how many individual joints do we distinguish? How many three. 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 Ah. three. And when you are telling me that is ganglimus, which of them do you mean? Uh, the auna and ah. the humoral. Auna and humoral. That's the problem. And so first of all, when I ask you, when I ask you, Dear colleague, would you like to show me the movements made of in elbow joint? You would, you would have to ask me, doctor, and what are, or what is the joint, what do you, which, do, which you mean? In which joints have I to demonstrate you the movements? In this one already, it is compound. I can't put an action all of them. Mm -hmm. Either, either, either. So, what do they are, these, more, these joints? Compound joints. Compound? Oh, that, that is elbow joint in its totality, the whole joint, in whole. But you told me that uh, they are distinguished uh, three bones participating in each and uh, as a result, there will be three sinoid joints. 
with the common articular cavity, common capsule, common. But the two is then three. That's, uh, that's why we call them to be compound. Well, the first of them will be. Oh, let me uh, let me do like that. The first of them will be humeral ulna joint. Humeral ulna joint. Here, this part here. What are you showing? Uh, humeral ulna joint. Humeral. No. <laughs> all of them. The three of them, they are always uh, in the same site. Uh, me, uh, I can't demonstrate uh, using this. Oh. Uh, here on the joint, what did you say about the movements in it? Like this. We can't forget always anatomical position. Anatomical. This is nature position. Well, we can see it certainly. But uh, the uh, upper limbs, they must be always along the trunk, along the trunk. And the palms open and chill. Yeah. That's all. So, uh -huh. <laughs> sternoclavicular. <laughs> Flexion. Okay, it's correct. Flexion. Flexion. Extension. Flexion. Extension. What else? No, I don't think so. I uh, we can't do this right. <coughs> it's only uh, for humeral and ulnar joints. We are, uh, doctor, we are chilling. Or oh, if you want, we are talking. About the humeral ulna joint. joint. Humeral ulna joint. What was its shape? What, are, what is the movement or what are the movements which it can allow? Only extensor and Only extensor and It is unique. That's the famous hinge joint. Sometimes King Lemus has the modality of the hinge joint. Hinge joint, unique action, that's all. Nothing else. Oh. Are you sure? We cannot do this. Are we sure? Can you watch it? This is a uh, hu humorous. Huh? Humorous with the scapula. Do humorous then you scapula to be not this rather strange. I don't think this movement doesn't involve humorous and ulna. involve Rade and ulna, right? Then uh, where it is uh, made of this movement? And how humorous. It, and how it uh, may be classified? I have to call it. It is. It may be made of then now. So I have. I must classify it. Identify. What is it? The muscle. You are Ah, we are not uh, talking about the muscle. Yeah. Joint. Hinge joint. Hinge joint. And. What was your pivot? Your idea. Humor using humor. That shoulder joint. It's yes, shoulder joint. That is movement in the shoulder joint. Shoulder joint, yeah. And how would you call it? Uh, uh, exterior. If you just say in a hinge joint, uh, the movement which could maybe, uh, which um, uh, could uh, be made there. We call them flexion, extension, abduction, okay. induction, okay. rotation. No, rotation. So? Rotation. Rotation. Certainly. The only difference when uh, it was uh, firstly represented, so um, my um, upper limb was along, oriented, along the trunk. trunk. After that, uh, I am putting the elbow joint in flexion. Inflection. Inflection. And uh, I'm realizing the same movement, yeah. only inflection and elbow joint. That's yes. All. So it's not, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, you, your comrades, your colleagues, uh, 
Sometimes uh, when uh, we discuss uh, the elbow joint at the exam, sometimes uh, they try to demonstrate these movements as uh, the movement in uh, the elbow joint. And certainly that it is mistake. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was a uh, humeral arm um, joint. joint. Flexion extension, nothing yeah. else. But uh, it is compound, uh, then uh, after that, uh, what will be another joint? Uh, Proximal, Proximal radial radio joint. Radio radio joint. Movement. This is a radial yeah. ulna. Proximal is the same. Yes. So these ideas, doctor, these ideas, they must be in our minds. Uh. Proximal. And you are trying to find these answers, you know, always as my students you know, of the second year, they are trying to find the answers always in their reaching, in their reaching, in their reaching. Yeah. Here, the knowledge is which you need. So, proximal, proximal radio on the joint. Radio on the joint. Our colleague, she wants us to demonstrate these movements. <laughs> proximal. Almost, oh. almost correct. Almost. Uh, almost. Uh, that's so. That's action in other joints. In which? In which are uh, multi axial? Multi axial. The wrist joint. Cella. Radio carpal joint. Wrist joint. Mm -hmm. Radio carpal joint. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, not uh, proximal radio alma. Radio Alma, uh, you are showing almost uh, correctly, but almost. What was this movement? Let's show the joint. Rotation. Rotation. Well, in which of the uh, joints? Shoulder. 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 Shoulder joint. And uh, now we are trying uh, to demonstrate, uh, to show the same rotation, only slightly flexing the upper limb, but, but, but the same rotation. I need. Uh, Movement in the proximal radial ulna joint. Mm -mm. Like this. Is this the wrist joint? The wrist, the wrist, the wrist, wrist, wrist. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the, the movement? Ah, I have to put. First of all, to put it, uh, to put um, my upper limb in flexion. flexion. And like that, uh, it will be excluded. Uh, yeah. Rotation. Yeah, rotation. Mm -hmm. It ah. will be excluded. Up. Mm. And when uh, I rotate, uh, only it's not rotation of the upper limb. Only what upper rotates? Elbow. The ulna and uh, ah, wow. ready, right. elbow. That's uh, not, uh, I should say, anatomical mm. uh, notion. For arm, ulna, right. it rotates ulna. together. With the hand. With the hand, the. the arm, it's not put in this action. That is your proximal movement, 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 movement. movement. Uh, pro rotation. Pro and pro rotation that is common. Rotation that you have the first of all, these one. Mm -hmm. These movements, they are similar to the rotation. But I should say that for the upper limb, it is partial. Only partial rotation because only part of upper limb participates in uh, the movement. Forearm together, together with the hand. The that is rotation. The pronation uh, and supination. Pronation. 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 Supination. Pronation. Supination. And by the way, these are the movements uh, which are all your. Supination. First of all, for the humanity, for the human being. And what is the importance of this movement? Most of animals, they are not able to rotate of their distal portions of, of their mm. interior limbs. With uh, the main uh, function of uh, these uh, uh, limbs, interior limbs, main function, which is support. What is important for us? Uh, for us to turn our palm. So we can watch for the ah. <laughs> oh, That's correct. Huh? To take uh, to take something by the fingers, yeah. it's necessary to orient them. Okay. To orient them. 
If uh, it is immo immobilized, <laughs> like that, how would I, how would I, how would I take the the pen? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we have lost the third one. Jane, humira alma. Ah, humira di. Alna radi. Radio alna. Humira radi. Humira radi. We lost it. Yeah. What they will be the movements in it? Who would you like this? Who is joy? No, it participates. It is secondary in its functions in its nation. It participates. It support in the this in movement. all of these movements which we demonstrated. It participates. So. Yeah. It's not main uh, joint, which is responsible for flexion and extension. Yeah. The main joint will be humera arm. Oh, no. But the humera radial doesn't. It facilitates this move. It no. participates yeah. in it. Why? Because of in pronation and supination. Yeah. The main joy participating or realizing these movements or will radi, be radi. 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 with participation of humor radio. Humor radio that is intermediate joy. A kind of if you want a kind of a kind of a kind of a kind of buffer. Oh, it participates, it allows this move. flexion and extension. Mm. And at the same time, it the allows the pronation and supination. It's not the main joint in every of these movements. It participates it in them. That's very important um, function, property of it. So we demonstrated them. Wrist joint, radio carpal. <coughs> Uniaxial, biaxial? Uh, multi Multi. Mm -hmm. You see, as far as I remember, uh, what was uh, the like it? A by by. That was uh, the shape of the articular surface. Mm -hmm. Radius, and after that, three bones uh, of uh, the carpus, carpal bone. Mm -hmm. And uh, commonly, they form uh, the articular surface like that with uh, these. Uh, <coughs> you may be said longer X and shorter X. So, um, these joints it can't be multi, it can't be spheroidal or multi I don't know. Yeah, it's bilateral. Bilateral. Not equal. Bi 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 and by the way, what was your? It is reflected uh, in my, it may be said, drawing. What was the shape? How would classify uh, this joint uh, basing upon its shape? Concave and con convex. Concave, con. Concave, convex, uh, they may be slightly concave or strongly concave. We, we use the notion of spheroidal, hinge, ganglion, moisture, oh. plane, and, and, and. One more. It is your? Ellipsoidal. 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 And ellipsoid joints, ellipsoid joints, ellipsoid joints, ellipsoid joints. Do they belong to the group of multi axial or uni axial? Ellipsoid. By Baisha. By Baisha. By uh -huh. So, do please, it is by actual, so it is necessary to demonstrate at least two types of movements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Real it, it, it can be made like it, so seriously. Uh, first of all, first of all, X. Extension. X. X, X. Three axes, frontal, sagittal, oh, logical. Oh. What will oh. they will be the axes for the frontal wrist? Frontal is frontal X movement. Flex. Flexion. Flexion. Extension. 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 Okay, flexion, extension. Another X. Sagittal. 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 Adduction. 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 No, adduction. I, I did not understand where it was adduction, where abduction. 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 <laughs> so, 
abduction, 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 flexion, extension, flexion, extension. And this one? Combination of both. Combination of both. And how we call this movement? Combination. That's correct. Flex. So. Circumduction. 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 Okay, correct. So, see, what's the Latin name? Circumduction. 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 C I R. And so. C C R C U M D U C. T I O. Ah, T I O. The circumduction. So that's in such a way that uh, we follow, that we can follow, so using uh, after that uh, our knowledge of other joints in uh, the upper limb, certainly this one. The cellar joint. Another uh, extremely important mechanism in the orientation of the hand and uh, of the fingers, especially of the hand. Yeah. So it was pronation and supination, and now me, I oppose you. The thumb. Seven. And like that, uh, being opposed uh, to other fingers, it uh, give me, gives me opportunity to take something up. Down. Very important. And where is it, this joint? Over here. Which moves uh, the thumb? The uh, ruddy and ruddy couple ruddy. joint. Couple joint. Ah, you are showing me uh, two or three points. I can't understand what you are showing me, either this point or other point, or you are lying in your hand. Uh, well, 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 my dear God. Oh, me, I remember what it was. Carpa, what it was the road. Me, I'm trying to find out the site of, of this carpal metacarpal joint, individual joint. First, carpal metacarpal joints. Here. Yeah. Here. You want to, to confuse me totally? Here. One point, one point, one point. Is it here? Well. Almost, almost correct. Ah! <laughs> I haven't seen it. And in you, what is it? No, no, no. No, no. And you, you try to avoid this demonstration. Where is it in you? The first carpal metacarpal joint which would oppose the thumb. Eta. Oh, I saw it. Let's break, 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 break. Try to move, to move. And that will be yeah, this, this one. Uh, joint, this side, this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are uh, at the mid distance between. No, 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 no. That's incorrect. I don't hear. In you, that's incorrect. Here. Mm -hmm. Near it, it. near. But. Some distance, some distance nearer to the thumb, properly speaking. That would be better. That is first carpal and carpal joint. And where they are? In your hands. Where they are? The other carpal and carpal joint. Here. Oh. Here. Here. Position must be attentive. The others. This is. Oh, uh, sorry. What was the question? I told you, my the other, the other, the me. Other. I studied anatomy more than 50 years earlier. I do not remember. I remember nothing. And you, you, you studied it uh, which? Uh, so you have to demonstrate me correctly. Then. So where they are, are they carpal metacarpal joints in your hands? The others is supposed to be uh, over here. Maybe that's answer. Well, well, 
I could hear the earphones of you. What about others? In you, where are they on? Maybe you have no idea? Well, but in you, you studied the skeleton of the head. And these, if you want a visual memory, visual memory, it must function. Close the eyes, so hand, skeleton, carpus, metacarpus, fingers, phalanges, where well, it must be boundary between carpus, metacarpus, and like that in you, where well, they must be located, you know, these carpus, metacarpal joints, where? Well, mm. By the way, you may palpate even these metacarpal bones. And to find uh, much more correctly the location of this carpal metacarpal. Doctor, that is contact of the pharynx and of the metacarpal bone. That is uh, metacarpal phalangeal joint. Mm -hmm. Would you like to palpate? Palpate? They may be palpated metacarpal bones. And like that, uh, you may find uh, where is it the distal extremity, where is it the proximal extremity, and like that to find uh, correctly and exactly the side of uh, the carpal metacarpal joint. Palpate, 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 palpate. All of you, you have so many your own preparations you know, in the lower limb, in the upper limb, in trunks, you know, in the head, and you don't use them. So, where they are? We have a very deep root 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 that's the end of this uh, proximal end of your metacarpal. And that's the metacarpal carpus. Here is it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up and down. Up and down. You must feel it, feel it. That is the end of the proximal end of proximal extremity of your metacarpal. So that will be the row of the carpal metacarpal joints. Something. Okay. And so we found them. Show me the moments in the movements. Mm -hmm. Sorry? No, no movement, right? No muscle attachment. Uh, oh, we didn't study muscle. Maybe that they exist, the muscular insertions today. And by the way, you may believe me, certainly we know that they will be found in the muscles of the forearm which uh, will be inserted uh, to the metacarpus. Oh, very good. But the problem is, uh, you were quite near the truth. The problem is uh, that uh, the joints, they are similar to the plane joints, yeah. almost immobilized. Mm -hmm. Sinoid joints, almost immobile and we can't demonstrate any movement and that underlines the particular importance of the first thumb of the first carpal metacarpal joint these are four four other carpal metacarpal the first carpal metacarpal that's exception and it uh, 
give you an opportunity to oppose the exam. Together with this first metaphor from Bohm, I think uh, you understood the importance of this action. Mm. In such a way, it would be necessary to analyze uh, the movements in uh, the joints of the lower limb. Loading. Following the same uh, so shape, uh, X, demonstration of movement. And, and, and. and uh, by the way, uh, in these uh, uh, in these texts for the etrology, uh, it has been represented the classification of the individual joints, the list of joints with uh, all the the shapes, uh, the, the other um, uh, topics in uh, classification, the movements they are enumerated there. Yeah. The, that's correct, correct. Uh, me, I am meaning these list. Well, sorry, I changed you, yeah? You got, uh, you got uh, to finish 20 minutes early. So, thank you for the discussion. Mikhail Valerich, извините, что так получилось. Но они с мышцами, они с мышцами, вы им задали мышцы головы? Да, мы обсудили, и планшеты я хотел показать. Сожалению, не получилось. Я слышу. Мы хотели показать их на чем? Да ну что он Well, I'm satisfied to be able to meet you in the class and to discuss our certain problems. <laughs> and me, uh, I, whatever, I appreciated your your participation, participation of some of you in the lectures and the lectures in our discussions. And I hope that some later you will be more and more active in our lectures. Sure. Okay. Thank you and good luck. Thank you. 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 Thank